All right. So I don't recognize this license plate. So either they've re they've kind of cycled out the cars that are fully autonomous, or they've just added new ones, or I don't know. Good afternoon, Joel. This car is all yours with no one up front. Also, they, the the voice was the text-to-speech lady talks is a little bit. They changed the enunciation, I guess. Uh, I don't know exactly what you'd call that. Good afternoon, Joel. Good afternoon, Joel. But it's nice. Uh... Heading to Desert Breeze Park. Heading to Desert Breeze Park. Heading to Desert Breeze Park. Please make sure your seatbelt is fastened. For any questions, press the help button to speak with a rider support agent. Yeah, man, everything's a little different. I think they, uh, it locked the doors sooner than it would have. I don't know, there must be a software update. They pushed something. I, I, I don't know, that's cool. Also, the nice thing is I, I complained in feedback surveys about, oops, um, about some of the routing. Uh, so now you can see instead of doing its typical, like it would snake up through here and then go through there, now it goes down and up through Dobson past Intel, which is kind of nice. Um, oh, by the way, I did see those three, I didn't even see those three bicycles, but I looked up at the screen, saw them, and it did see them. So there you go. Um, Stop sign, that's computer vision and mat using both. As demonstrated by crossing guards in previous not videos. I don't think I got that crossing guard on video. Uh, music? Music? Okay, nope. residue from whenever they clean this with it just makes the video look off. Dang it. Well, semi-nice. Like a low-level prosumer. Dodge Caravan behind us now. I don't think that's roadside assistance though. 
but we'll find out in a second. If they pull up next to us, I'll be able to see the emergency lights in the window. But, uh, So in, in previous videos, I, you could hear the turn signal slightly, even though it was turned way, way down. Now it's just completely gone. But in some other rides I didn't record and it was back. So I don't know uh, the, how that's rolled out fleet-wide, but yeah. Those aren't Google Maps, by the way. I'm not revealing anything. bit of a phantom car there in the middle of the intersection. Not for very long though. So I'm guessing on my way back, usually we would, to get back here, we would unprotected bit left and then go down Ocotillo. Uh, but I think because of that last disengagement I got on video, they, I think they blocked off that left turn lane or something because now it just refuses to I, I don't know we'll, we'll see um, yeah. uh, no roadside assistance behind us okay that's the new challenge maybe they've been told to be more sneaky can you spot roadside assistance <laughs>
ambulance up there. And represent, oops. What just happened? I think my gimbal batteries are dying anyway. Um, let's see. Yeah, ambulance up there. I know it can recognize the ambulance. Uh, but we're not close enough to have it on the visual. It's hmm, interesting. Yeah, there we go. Because the ambulance has the brake lights on, it thinks it has active. Did you see that? Yeah. Huh. Well, the little emergency vehicle representation. Yeah, so the computer vision definitely knows what an ambulance or a cop car looks like, which is really, really cool. That looks, that truck is not tilted like that. Oh, it seems to, everything's shifting a little bit. And I can't wait to try out the fifth gen hardware and see the difference. anyone in the audience that knows about Pacificas, uh, there's a stats page right up there on the dash. It says, it's, does that bottom counter mean that it's been driving for 24 hours? Or like how long the engine's been on? Or, um, I don't actually know. That's, I have to look that up. Yeah, this truck is hilariously tilted in the lane, even though it's not actually. Anyone think that might be like a sensor miscalibration or, I don't know. Actually, let's look at the point cloud. Yeah, sort of. obvious about that. It's weird. Yeah, none of the other cars are doing that. That's weird. At least that I can see. I really wish it would show the point cloud all the time. Rick and Morty bumper sticker. Okay, it looks like at the next intersection we'll be doing an unprotected left. Well, hopefully unprotected. Um, we'll see.
something cool happen. If something cool happens, then I can post it on Reddit. Come on. <laughs> Okay, when I said intersection, I meant like main road, not offshoot sort of deal. Yeah. Yeah, all right. So, Arizona drivers would know, but I don't know if there's any other if uh, if drivers in other states would encounter this situation as much. Uh so this is a flashing yellow for yield. Um if it were me, I would be pulling into the intersection so I can have right of way when the light starts to go red. Instead, we're most gonna wait behind the line and we miss the unprotected lift. Smart and safe, yes. Annoying, yeah, kinda. But, all right. There's no one behind us, but. Okay, Dodge Caravan. No safety lights in the back, and both people are in the front row, so... Well, actually, there's a third person, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, so no, not roads or assistance. Well, there goes my clickbait title or whatever. I don't know. Thanks, man. <laughs> clickbait timestamp? Roadside assistance? Nope. They are sneaky.
I know one commenter asked, but um, if anyone else was wondering how I did the little countdown thingy, it was uh, it's an After Effects. It's a little script. And then, of course, the little thing next to it is the traffic light indicator. There, yeah. I actually didn't take a picture of it myself. I found it in some blog post. Okay, let me test this. Why, why is it... Oh, the battery's not dying. It's just that it was... I was bumping it into the... Okay, whatever. <laughs> just me being an idiot, as usual. pedestrians through like directly into the sun uh, through traffic like a bunch of opposite traffic and through the median with plants and still keeping that like keeping them in view and like knowing that it's there the object permanence and stuff it's wonderful yeah. oh, careful and when I I'm fine usually and then when I try and I can't even form sentences is when I turn the camera on. This doesn't make any sense. <sighs> uh. This is the inconvenient thing. It's like, say, I want to go to that Circle K right there. The closest pickup spot is in some neighborhood, and then I'd have to walk 10 minutes. All because at some point in the past, one of them got stuck there or something, and then now they don't want to go there anymore, so... <sighs> don't fix the problem, just apply duct tape to it. Ugh. Again, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm just making casual YouTube videos. I'll take that as you will. Alright, here we go. Unprotected left for sure. Okay, with the median of like some trees in the way of the lidar. For, I don't know if it would actually be that long range, but. Right here. Whew. And. There we go. Nice and easy. shortly at Desert Breeze Park. Please keep your seatbelt fastened until we reach your destination and remember to take all your belongings. Yeah, they definitely changed the voice a little bit. Either they improved the voice model or they did they did something to it that changes how it pronounces things. Well, enunciates really. Which I kinda like. Yeah. Look at the point cloud on that cyclist. Yep, Just easing into it. 
waiting until they... Oh! Yep. Very cool. Alright, and now here's where if roadside assistance is going to show up, they're probably parked somewhere nearby waiting for me. I don't think they are, though. Oh, yeah, and that's what railroad tracks look like. Even though there aren't any main Union Pacific line tracks in the service area, so we don't typically see that. But there you go. We've arrived. Please check your surroundings before exiting the vehicle, and remember to close the doors after you exit. I don't think they changed that one. Yeah, that one sounds the same. Alright. 